Hello girls, how are you? Hope you're fine. Today we'll start something new. We'll talk about measurements. We will start with this unit which we called inches. Let me say inches. Inches. So you have to prepare your ruler, but your ruler should be with inches. And let's see why. Because it's inches, it's not the same as centimeter. Maybe two and a half centimeter, it will be one inch. So, here is lesson 1 for chapter 7. We will discuss together 313 until 315. Your homework is 134. Let's start. Here is in inches, you have to estimate and measure length in inch. What the meaning of estimate? Estimate means you are guessing the measurement. And when you want to measure, you bring your ruler and measure it. Let's see here the difference between the inch and between the centimeter. Here is a ruler of inch and here is a ruler of a centimeter. Can you see if I bring the crayons here and I want to measure it in inches, how many inch is the read? Extend 3 inch. But can you see if I measure the same crayon with the centimeter ruler? It's about what? It's more than 7. So which unit is greater, inches or centimeter? Perfect, so inches is more than centimeter. Inches is more than centimeter. Inch is about two and a half centimeter. So inch means two and a half centimeter. Let's bring this pencil. When I want to measure anything, I have to start my point in zero. And then I read the last measurement, which is 16. So this pencil measurement in length 16 centimeter, and this is a crayon, it's about three inches. So you have to know from this picture that the inch is greater than centimeter in measurements. One inch equals about two and a half centimeters. Let's see here as our friend discussing together how we read a, a measurement using a ruler with inches. Hey there everyone, welcome back to Mash Up Math. My name is Anthony and thank you again so much for joining me on this mini lesson. Just go ahead and get started. Hey there everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore how to find the length of objects using a tool called a ruler. Now let's start by thinking about one of my favorite things in the whole world, food. So let's imagine a sandwich that is one foot long. Now you probably already know that one foot is exactly the same thing as 12 inches. They are two different units of measurement. And if we cut this sandwich directly down the middle in half, we know that each half would be six inches long. And for this lesson, we are going to explore using a ruler that has that same length of six inches. And we're going to take a look at what the symbols and markings on the ruler mean and how we can use them to measure different sized objects. So let's take a look at the side of the ruler that's labeled in inches. And you can determine that by looking for the word inch or I-N as an abbreviation. Can you see it? It's up there. Notice the large numbers one through six are labeled on the ruler. Each of these spots is a value of one inch in length. So the distance between zero and one is equal to one inch. The distance between zero and two is equal to two inches, which can be expressed as two I-N. The distance between zero and four would be equal to four inches. But what would happen if we're measuring a distance that falls somewhere in between two of these values? Notice that there is a marking directly in between each one inch marker on the ruler. And each of those markings are going to represent one half. 
So in this case, we have a length of four and one half inches. Now, what if we push our measurement a little bit further so that it's in between a whole number and a one half? In this case, we're in between five and five and a half. The markings in between these values are each worth one quarter. So in this case, we have a measurement of five and one quarter inches, or five and one fourth. And if we push our length a little bit further so that it's in between one half and the next whole number, we can conclude that this length is equal to five and three quarters, or five and three fourths. So now that you have a better understanding of using a ruler to find the measure of a length, let's gain some practice using a ruler to measure some different items. So let's start off by finding the height of this piece of candy. We can start by turning the figure on its side and taking our ruler and lining it up so that the zero inch mark is aligned with the left edge of the figure and seeing how far along it goes on the ruler to the right edge of the figure. In this case, this piece of candy has a length of one and a half inches. Oh, yeah. Now let's see if we can find the length of this inchworm. Again, we can take our ruler and line up the zero inch mark with the left edge of the figure and seeing how far along the ruler it extends to the right edge, in this case, three and one quarter inches. Now, what about an object like a video game controller? Again, we want to use our ruler to find the length of this object. So we can line our ruler up on the left edge at the zero inch mark. And we see that this object is longer than six inches. So first we measure the first six inches of the object. And then we have to measure the length of the extra space. To do that, we can slide our ruler over and see that this figure extends an extra three quarters of an inch. So we can conclude that the video game controller has a length that measures six and three quarters of an inch. So this should get you comfortable now with using your ruler to find the length of measurements of different objects. So hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Mashup Math. My name is Anthony. Let's go. I guess. So, you have to know that if I don't, if I don't uh, have a ruler, how I estimate? Yes, how you estimate? How you guess this how many inch? I want you to put your hands up and show me thumb. This is your thumb, right? Yes, it looks like a feet, but never mind. Okay, uh, for example, I will draw it again. If this is your hand, it's closing this your finger, and this is a thumb here. Okay, so one inch is means that the first part of your thumb. This is your finger. Yes, this is the first part of your thumb. It's about one inch. So when you say like, you show me like. So the first part of your thumb, it's about one inch. If you don't have a ruler. Now, I want to bring a ruler now and measure with me. Let's read together. Here they put for us a ruler with inches. So it's easy. But for the next, you have to bring a real materials and real objects and measure it with your ruler. And I bring my stuff around me and I will measure it with you and we solve it together. So here is, let's read the first measurement. Can you see I put it in the first and zero and I can I say that the last measurement and the last reading is three, so it's three inches. And here is a start, this is a stick from zero and I have to say that is this ending in number. Perfect, four, so here is I have four inches. Here is a starter from zero. You have to start from zero. You can't start from one because you have to make the exact measurement of your uh, object. And can you see the object is ending in number two? So here is I have two inches. This is a little bit easy, but it would be harder for the next practice. 
Here they said, find a real object. Real object. You have to bring your pencil, your eraser, and your book, and your ruler. Estimate that length, then use a ruler to measure to the nearest edge. So I have around me, we have a, a um, we have a pencil and I bring my eraser and I bring my book. So let's think together. If you guessing, estimating, what about the length of your pencil? Yes, how many inch? If you don't know, just put your thumb, the first part of your thumb and measure. One, two, three, Four, so I estimate that pencil is about four inches. Now I bring my ruler and I want to write exactly the measurement of my pencil. You can't measure these. This is our picture. And for sure the pencil is not longer than the book. So don't measure here with the ruler no you have to bring a real object you have to bring a real object so if i bring my ruler and i measure my pencil so the pencil is about let me bring it yes oh my god i'm almost it's about four and a half it's about four and a half inches perfect Let's bring an eraser. I bring my eraser and my eraser is, is a long eraser. So it's about, yes, I write two inches and I bring my ruler and let's measure. Wow, it's exactly two inches, I'm smart. Now I have my book. If you don't have your notebook, just measure your math book yes let's measure it together you can guess by putting thumbs how many inches let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine so i guess that it's about nine inches but now i bring the ruler bring it with me it with me can you see here the sound for the ruler yes let's measure it i start from zero here it is here is eight i need more wait here is eight okay yes eight and three wow it's about eleven your math book is about 11 inches your math book is about 11 inches let's see now the next page here is estimate the length of each object then measure it you have to guess you have to guess it's wait we have another page no yes still here we have a missing part but never mind start with me with b so here i estimate I guess this is spoon but now I have to measure it they draw it for me big so I have to measure it on the book not to bring a real spoon so you have to put the ruler start from zero here and then read the ending in your end ruler so I estimate here let's put my thumb one two three four five six so my estimating is six inches now I bring my ruler and I want to see what the length for this spoon. Yes. Okay. It's about, wow, I'm exactly, it's about six and a half inches. Six and a half. Perfect. Let's see the pencil. Bring your thumb and measure you remember the thumb when you make like this is your thumb just the first part of the thumb one two three four so my estimating for here is four inches for this pencil let's bring a ruler and now we will measure it with an inch ruler 
Wow, I'm almost. It's four and the quarter. <gasps> wow, four and the quarter. Perfect. Here is the paper clip. I guess this is about. I guess it's about an inch and a half. Now bring your inch ruler and measure. Start from zero. Oh my god, I'm almost. It's about an inch and three quarter. Perfect. Let's go to the next page. Mm -hmm. Now, here it is. We have the problem solving. Ronald buys two eraser. The first eraser is one inch long. The second eraser is three inches long. How much longer is the second eraser than is the first eraser? Yes, I have to make a difference between two eraser. What you would do? Perfect, I have to subtract. I have two measurements. The first one is three and the other one is uh, one. So three minus one. So is it four, baby? It is two. Let's go to the next. Mel estimate the length of the pencil as 7 inches long, while Emily estimate the length of the pencil to be 17 inches. Which estimate is the best? Can you believe that you have a pencil with 17 inches? My god, it's look like, like um, you remember, for example, 17 inches, it will be like, uh, uh, it's longer than your leg. Can you imagine that you have a pencil longer line than your leg? For sure not. So which is the perfect estimating? 7 or 17? Perfect. It's 7 inches. So who is correct? Excellent. So Mia's... She's a closer. So we said... Mia... Yes... Mia's mm, measure meant is better. Here is we have to fill in the blanks. We have length, inch, and estimate. Number one, an is a customary unit for measuring. What the new unit we use it? Perfect inch so you will write inch to measuring what do you measure your estimate or do you measure length perfect I'm measuring length to a measurement of an object is to tell the approximate measurement it's not the exact excellent it's estimating I'm guessing here it's to mate. Perfect. So here is your homework. You have just to read the measurement and match. What about the first one? Six with a six inches. Wow, perfect. What about here? Five. So easy. What about here? Seven. And here is eleven. Here is you have to bring your ruler and measure. So I uh, I will leave it for you because I can't measure it here. I don't have your uh, practice book because you know the picture here in the in the presentation is different from the real. So as I told you, just just to bring your your ruler here and from zero and then find here what your measurement. I guess this line maybe it will be about. Um, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess it will be about maybe four. It is about two, three, and five. Here is the next. You have to estimate the length of. Then use an inch ruler to estimate to the nearest inch. What the length of a pencil? So you have to bring a real pencil and measure it. And here is a real eraser and measurement, and here is a real sheet paper and measurement. First, estimate, approximate with your mind. Put your thumb and see how many thumb I have to put to make this is measurement. 
so in pencil we estimate maybe it's about six and you measure it you have different pencil from mine so we have a um, different answers for all the students so just measure your pencils okay that's it so the important thing here is how to start measuring with your ruler that you have to point to start from zero and then read your measurement you have to know that in your ruler i have not only holes i have also halves and quarters so if i want to say guessing or you estimating you not tell me the exact or you bring your ruler no you have to search for the answer in your mind and estimate when i'm asking about the actual links now you have to bring your ruler and measure it with your ruler and find it maybe it's a hole maybe hole and three quarters i don't know so don't be afraid if we have different answers your pencil is different from mine so that's it for today i hope that you like and just it's easy i know just using ruler and read remember i'm not measuring with centimeter i have another unit which is what perfect which is inches so remember inch is about two and a half centimeter inch is about two and a half centimeter perfect so this is the lesson for today i hope you like it and i love you all see you again bye bye